Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, until about five years ago, uh, I did not like eggplant uh, because I don't know how to cook them properly. And then I figured out how to stir fry them. Now I love eggplant. In fact, I cook multiple eggplant dishes. Uh, the best thing to cook eggplant is to cook them with other vegetables. And there are many different combinations that you can use eggplants for. And they taste the best when they are in uh, contrast with other vegetable ingredients uh, to give them a unique flavor and texture in the dish. Uh, here is an eggplant vegetable medley dish that is cooked with mushroom, colored bell pepper, and scallions. A Brussels sprouts, mushroom, cherry tomatoes, and colored bell pepper also go very well with eggplants. Uh, the Brussels sprouts provide very interesting in contrast in texture uh, to the eggplant. Uh, in this dish, I pair the eggplant with some broccoli. Uh, even though you cannot see it, I season the dish differently as well. Uh, eggplant go very well with different kind of pairing, and here I pair it with uh, some fried tofu uh, as well as some asparagus. Uh, in this dish, I pair the eggplant with uh, broccoli and some portobello mushroom. In this case, uh, I change the ratio of the pairing and give the dish an entirely different characteristics. Uh, with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking of my fast cooking system, uh, you can create almost infinite versions of eggplant dishes. Uh, you can cook the eggplant uh, with other vegetables uh, to create a vegetarian dish, or uh, you can combine them with uh, meat. Uh, here is an example of an eggplant dish with shrimp, zucchini, and carrot. A stir frying eggplant is nothing difficult at all, but you need to pay special attention to some specific characteristics that are unique to eggplant. Uh, therefore, I created an eggplant template. Uh, this dish is an example uh, to demonstrate how to use the eggplant template just to cook the eggplant. A template is the foundation for cooking an eggplant dish. Once you're familiar with the eggplant, then you can add other food ingredients to the dish. First, let me tell you a little bit about eggplant. There are two common eggplants available in most supermarkets. The most common type of eggplant is known as the American Beauty variety. It has an oblong shape. It has a tougher skin but you don't need to remove the skin uh, to eat this kind of uh, eggplant. And it also has a firmer flesh. Uh, the second type of eggplant is known as Asian eggplant. Uh, sometimes it's called Chinese eggplant or Japanese eggplant. They have an elongate shape. Uh, the skin of this eggplant is softer and makes them easier uh, to chew. The flesh of this eggplant is also softer. I cook with both types of eggplant, and you can cook them very much the same way. But most of the time, if I have the opportunity, uh, I will buy the Asian eggplant. Uh, the American Beauty variety is available in almost all supermarkets, whereas the Asian variety, sometimes you only find them in Asian supermarkets. Uh, eggplant has excellent shell life. Uh, they usually last up to about 10 days. Now, after you store the eggplants in the refrigerator, they might look slightly blackened in color, but that does not affect its taste at all. I also want to mention uh, when I slice eggplant, uh, I cut them in a slightly different angles. Uh, they will make the eggplant more interesting. Uh, however, you can cut it in whatever way that you would like. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stir fry eggplant entirely on its own. So this way, uh, I can help you to focus on the stir fry templates for eggplant. And once you master this template, uh, you can use it to uh, cook eggplant in combination with other vegetable ingredients or with a protein. Okay, let's go in the kitchen and I show you how this stir-fry template works. 
I'm going to cook this dish in my cuisine at 14 inches stainless steel wok. I'm going to start out with 2 tablespoons of canola oil, but you can use any cooking oil that you would like, as long as it has a high smoking point. I'm going to start by sautéing 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. And for convenience, I'm going to use garlic that has been pre-minced. And of course, uh, you can use freshly minced garlic as well. Uh, in about 5 to 10 seconds, and then I add about 3 cups of uh, eggplant. Uh, now you can cook a uh, different amount of eggplant that you like, uh, depending on the dishes that you make. Uh, in some cases, you might want to use more, but in other cases, you might just want to use a touch. Uh, one distinct characteristic of eggplant is that they absorb a lot of oil. And you notice that the bottom of the wok has almost no oil at all. Uh, so I add additional oil. Uh, when you cook eggplant, you should be always ready to add more oil. So put your oil in a squeeze bottle has many advantages because you can just add the exact amount that you want very rapidly. When you cook eggplant, you want the flesh of the eggplant saturated with oil. As you can see that now the wok is being dry again, so I add some more oil. This is a distinct characteristic of eggplant. And to cook the eggplant right, uh, you want there are plenty of oil. Uh, the penetration of the oil into the eggplant is what makes the eggplant taste good. Uh, the key is that when you watch the eggplant, uh, you should see the flesh of the eggplant turn translucent. Uh, that means it is about ready. Uh, this is an indication that the eggplant has become nice and soft. A next step is to add water to steam the eggplant. I place the water in a squeeze bottle, and I only add a small amount of water at a time. And I direct the water right at the area that I see food has been burned and stick to it, and there are mainly garlic that has been burned and caramelized. As you notice that the water turned into steam right away, and I use the wok spatula to scrape them off. And so this way, I'm not only steaming the eggplant, but I also cleaning the wok at the same time. And I call this method spot cleaning. It made cleaning the wok much easier later on when you take it to the sink. And now the eggplant's texture uh, is just perfect. Next, I'm going to season the dish with a combination with oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. I usually use the ratio of uh, two parts of oyster sauce to one part of hoisin sauce, uh, but you can use whatever ratio that you like and amount as well. Uh, this is the part of flavor chasing. I continue to add a small amount of water uh, to create a light sauce. Uh, this is also a good way uh, to return some of the flavor back to the dish by using the wok spatula to scrape off the burnt and uh, stuck materials. Uh, the spot cleaning method works really well. It removes all the burn material from the bottom of the wok, and it makes cleaning later on much efficient. Uh, the final step is to garnish the dish with some chopped scallions. I always add the chopped scallions at the end to uh, give it a nice fresh taste. Uh, so right now what I have shown you is the basic stir-fry tempeh for eggplant. Once you master this template, then you can add other vegetable ingredients to cook with the eggplant. And depending on how long you want to cook the other vegetables, you add them at a different time point in the cooking process. And I call this method a sequential cooking. This will allow you to stir-fry different ingredients to exactly the texture that you would like. If you like eggplant, I think the first step I would recommend you to do is to stir-fry only eggplant and to find out the kind of texture that you enjoy so you will know how long you need to stir-fry them. I post a video each day to make your home cooking practical efficient, creative, and fun uh, using my fast cooking system uh, so that you can make home cooking as part of your daily routine. 
If you like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.